and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Hooter, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the best ways to build a no money spend team. Now, I used to make this video towards the beginning of the year. I made it like three, maybe three times in the beginning of the year. Now, what it is is that obviously with the way Madden incorporates Nats and U cards every week, pretty much this video can be updated very, very often now. You guys have been commenting down below. Give me the best, give you guys the best ways and like the best way you can format a team. Now, I don't really want to go through all the old stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll quickly recap a lot of the old stuff you could already have. But basically, with all the no money spent stuff you could already have in the game, you should at least be a minimum of 86 overall, in my opinion, if you've been grinding no money spent at bare minimum, right? Because I know plenty of people who are 89 to 88. And guys, quite honestly, I'm borderline no money spent. Obviously, I'm one of those first few pack openings, but obviously, those coins are long gone and power ups and stuff. But I didn't really make that many coins to begin with. Realistically, a lot of the coins I get are from leveling up, from grinding, from playing weekend league. So I have a 91 overall, and I have not opened up a single bundle since the first week of Madden. So I'm not no money spent. But I'm not too far from it. I obviously opened the level of packs, but I personally think even no money spent guys should open those level of packs. But that's just my personal opinion. You get millions of coins from level of packs, and that's like what? Altogether, if you bought every level of pack this year, it'd be like 20 bucks. Plus the actual, you could probably spend under 40 to 20 to 40 bucks, and I've gotten millions of coins, which is a great deal considering it costs a lot more than that on the open market or with packs. That's what you guys for it to open. But guys, Real quick, before we get into this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, smash the like button. You guys have been asking for this, so if you guys are one of them, make sure you like the video, because I'm just making this video for you guys who have been asking. Comment down below anything that I might miss, and make sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and come join the family, boys. Now, first thing, when we get to challenges, when you look in here, there are so many things to be doing. Now, the older ones, obviously, the gauntlet. You want to be doing the gauntlet, because that gives you Byron Jones, 89 overall. You power that guy up. That guy's a beast. Now, obviously, compared to, like, Deion Sanders and Ramsey and all those top-tier cornerbacks, you might say he's not the best of those. But this is called no money spend, right? So for you guys, a 90 overall cornerback for borderline free by playing solos plus coins seems like a bargain in my opinion. So you want to be picking up him, you want to be picking up your Michael Thomas. Oh, oh, oh by the way, Byron Jones from Journey 2. And then you want to pick up Michael Thomas from Journey 1. Obviously, the gauntlet, you have Devin White, Juju Smith-Schuster, Leonard Fournette, Oliver, and Derwin James. Those guys are pretty solid too. But at this point, I'm assuming you guys have done all these solos. So assuming you guys are about an 86 overall, 87 overall already, one thing you guys always want to be doing every week, just for uh, it's a little chance, right? I always like, as a no money spent guy, you're always looking for those free packs for a chance. So Team of the Week is one of those things where you get a little chance every week. Get your six stars. A gold plus Team of the Week player could literally be the hero. I've seen it on Twitter. I'm pretty sure, unless that's just fake, but I've seen it on Twitter. It could also be one of the highest set pieces. So that's a great way to make coins there. Plus, you want to be collecting your tokens because every week you get those tokens, which towards year end will contribute to your free Team of the Year player pack, which is usually auctionable, which for no money spent is beautiful. Now... One of the best things I can advise for no money spent team, like the first thing, always do, I, I can't stress this enough, do your level up grind. If you're no money spent, you're not level 60 yet, you're doing it all wrong, right? See, going from level zero to 60 probably nets you over 2 million coins, maybe more. I'm not joking, I went from, I had 600k, I went from level 50 to 60, the new level up grind, I'm pretty sure, was it 50 to 60 or was it 60 to 70? Maybe it was 60 to 70, but 60 to 70, for the new level up grind, I went from 600k to 1.3 million coins, because you get a power pass, you get a bunch of coin quick sells from those uh, store packs. You get a bunch of coin quick sells from leveling up. You get some gridiron packs. You get a bunch of stuff. So guys, the first thing, first of all, I cannot stress this, please. I There's plenty of videos on YouTube to how to level up. I recommend you go check those out. You go get those done because guys, leveling up is the biggest advantage that Madden really gives us as a no money spent player. So next thing, next thing's a thing that guys, I also can't stress enough. I recommend this to everyone. If you're no money spent, these sets are some of the best sets that Madden has to introduce to you guys. I use them because, again, I'm borderline. I'm not no money spent, but I'm, I'm borderline. It's the master sets. Guys, these sets right here, which come out almost with every promo. The Thanksgiving's going to have them, and the Christmas are going to have them, and many more. But for now, let's go with Thanksgiving because that's coming up and Christmas. So for the time being, guys, a set that I personally know is a Peyton Manning set. Now, the reason these sets are beautiful is because you get three cards net back. So for a no money spent team, you're not looking for... You're not looking for limited time. You're not looking for all these coins. You're looking for cards. You need physical cards to play for your team because you're no money spent. You don't always have the biggest influx of coins. So, guys, this set right here, I went over plenty of ways to get these players for almost free. I would overplay it. Wait, so I'll explain it real quick. So, the reason these sets are so great are because look at this. So, you buy all three cards. I don't know what they're going for right now, but let's check. They're 370 now. Now they're crazy expensive because the promo is over. So, you got to do them during the promo. During the promo, Frederick and all of them are going for like 270 each. So, 270 each is like, what's that? Two, four, six. And then, like, it was like, I believe it was like 810k, just about 810k to get this set done. 
but then you were able to sell have paid demanding now before i even mention the price of the pack we're going over the price of the set remember that house rules always gives us a free player so you combine that all together and that is the reason why these sets are the best so if house rules gives you guys one player for free let's say you take denzel ward now you got two left the two players together cost 540k and then paid demanding was course selling at first for like 380 400k so if you could sell them around that range you were only you were pretty much paying about 140,000 coins for three nat cards remember that so 140,000 coins on a no money spend team won't be that much to hit you guys but you get 393 overall cards all you gotta do is sell back paid manning now obviously if you like the card you can keep it because again getting a 93 overall paid manning a 92 a 92 and 92 for 540k isn't bad at all but again if you want to just the best thing you can do for a no money spend team is always to sell the master keep the nats now if you guys really want to get crazy with it and really make all your coins back what you do is you only you pick two of the nats that you like you quick sell the other one you convert that back into coins and you really almost get there for free so that's my best bet so like with thanksgiving there will be another set that comes out that i highly recommend you guys do it probably let's say it'll be a master lord's taylor set let's say the set pieces are like last year let's say it's Darius slay patrick mahomes and um alvin Kamara. let's say those are three set pieces for lawrence taylor you go buy those pieces you get one from house Wars for free most likely you put them in there you sell lawrence taylor for like 600k 700k and then you keep two of them you keep two of the cards you keep three of the cards and you probably make even with about 200k for 393 overalls i'm just telling you guys for no money spent this is why i've been doing i do this set every year if there is a set like this to do i do it every promo i'm telling you guys i start frederick i start ward and i start sue i start all three of them and i sold paid and and now for the small cost of about 140k i got three startable top players in the game i'm telling you guys that is one of the best you should always be as no money spent player now also as no money spent player you guys got to be doing your weekend league and your solo battles i'm not gonna go too much into this because i assume you guys know that i see this as a weekly paycheck that's why i always viewed weekend league and solo battles you play them during the week it gives you something to do a little entertaining sometimes weekly can be a little fun at times you get that done and then at the end of the week you get some trophies you get some cards you get some coins and if you get like 250k total from solo battles and weekly league every week that amounts to a million coins a month a month you guys know i don't think anyone realizes that, that if you play both and even if you do really bad right at worst solo battles because it's, it's offline you can get like 50k plus uh packs and quick sell trophies plus weekend league same thing and then at the end of the week you're in with like at least 250k worth of coins now one of the best things you could do is be saving up your trophies, obviously, because these trophies for no money spent team are huge. Trophies are like a second form of currency. Now, if you really want to, you can convert it into a lot of other things, but I personally think you want to either go the Master or the John Madden Collectibles. Now, remember, for no money spent team, your team might not always be the best. You got to really boost your team to compete. So if you get a guy like John Madden Collectibles or you get Chem Boost, Sprinter Boost, and stuff, that really boosts your team over the top that can make you compete with other teams. So I'm just telling you guys now, you guys want to be getting your trophies up. Play your seasons, play your solo battles, play your head-to-head, uh, -head, play your house rules, play everything you can. And remember, house rules is big too. You want to be playing all those online events because if you save up all those trophies, I promise you those job Madden collectibles. You guys are always asking me, how's Lamar 91? How is that player this overall? I've tried so hard. How do you get them? John Madden collectibles make the difference when it comes to trying to boost a no money spent team. So like I said, you always want to take your nap players are a no money spent team's best friend because they're cheap to get and they play on your team. Now for a guy, like, let's say, youtubers who have millions of coins i'm obviously not one of those i mean i have a lot of coins and players right now but those youtubers who have five million coins they don't care about nat cards because for them they can afford any card they want so nat cards for them is dumb they just want coins they want to buy their limited time cards but for no money spent money is obviously tight so you guys always want to be looking for nat cards so specifically this tuesday there should be a new house rules because it is like an every other week thing so there should be a new house rule so you always want to be playing your house rules because those give you trophies coins and packs house rules is so key for no money spent this year alone, we got like six, seven already free players that are startable on our teams. I think I start like three or four players from house rules at this moment. I'm telling you guys, you don't want to miss out on your house rules. You do not. And obviously, solo challenges. But at the moment, we're out of solo challenges besides the team of the week. What you're going to want me to look out for next is going to be the Thanksgiving solos. That will probably guarantee you one free Thanksgiving player or house rules will guarantee you one Thanksgiving player. And if we get both, if we get enough collectibles and then we get that, you could quite literally get a Thanksgiving performer card, a cornucopia pack, and a house rules free player from when the Thanksgiving promo drops. That's kind of what I envision they will do as their compensation for partaking in the Thanksgiving um, promo. So remember, every promo, in my opinion, every promo is a new way for no money spend to so, uh, so boom, because that's literally what it is. They give us free players, new new coin solo challenges, new free stuff. That's always when no money spend. The worst time for a no money spend player is probably between promos, like right now, because at this exact moment, there's not much to do, there's not much to grind, there's just weekend league. Now, if you're a no money spend player, you also want to be looking for bargains, right? So I'm gonna show you guys a few things, like on the auction block when you look. 
there's some cards that you want to be looking for and some you don't so for a no money spent player you probably don't want to be searching the 92 93 range because you don't want to blow all your coins on one player so guys obviously like you want to be looking for bargains so instead of let's say no money spent players is the good way to put it you don't want preference right preference will kill you because as a let's say your preference is you want levy on bell you you oh my god cooper cup is crazy cheap i mean that was expected with the speed but wow that would, that would i'd be sad if i pulled him and saw that price let's say your preference is levy on bell right 455k or like it was bo jackson yeah they're great and all but again if you you gotta you gotta stick to chems chems are your best friend you can get a guy like clinton portis power him up chem him up and end up with a guy just as good if not better than levy on bell he's not the brand name that you might want but it gets the job done you gotta be looking for those bargains tyler lockett great receiver really cheap another guy that you're gonna want to be picking up i'm just saying like i'm not saying that those guys are what you need i'm saying that you want to you can't always be so you got to be open-minded to cards obviously everyone wants deon sanders but denzel ward is probably the next best thing at this exact moment for a lot cheaper than him now he's obviously more in price right now because of the specifics of the set and the promo being out of style but the redux cards i've gotten a lot cheaper would i recommend you guys really attack these right now probably not i'd wait they are look like they're coming down because of monthly rewards so that's definitely awesome i want to pick up some guys but i just can't justify spending a million on a card you know it's hard right how do you justify spending that many coins on the card although alvin Kamara is pretty cheap i do actually want a Kamara, but he would not start on my team which does kind of suck but guys that pretty much wraps up the video i hope you guys got enough from that to take away from what you guys want to be doing i think that pretty much wraps it up level up crime the souls you want to be looking for your free packs your free cards your nat cards that's pretty much the follow the formula you want to follow and like i said there's plenty more coming in the christmas promo guys for no money spent players is beautiful christmas packs so much don't worry when the christmas promo comes out on thanksgiving i will have you guys with some fire videos that's why you got to subscribe and turn on that noti bell boys be ready for it because i promise you when thanksgiving thanksgiving and christmas specifically christmas i'll get last year at christmas i made like 10 million coins i'm not even joking there's so many investment opportunities because there will be snow currency and that currency is so easy to manipulate but guys that's about all for today thank you guys for watching make sure to comment down below what you guys want to add to this video help out the community down below give this video a huge thumbs up and that's about it subscribe turn the noti bell i'm out see you guys in the next video peace